everyone welcome to uh, kvation engineering uh, youtube channel all right uh, so today i'm going to uh, take a new uh, 80 chapter lessons uh, it is 80 chapter 24 electrical system so uh, today i'm going to start a new series so uh some days some weeks i will uh, upload the videos regarding pressurization and uh, air conditioning system now i'm going in the pressurization so i will upload pressurization lessons and uh, some weeks i will upload the uh, electrical systems and also the yasa uh, module uh, lessons and also some questions all right so this uh, week i will going to up, uh, i will going to uh, teach you about the electrical system okay so the electrical system uh, uh, and if you are a newcomer uh, for this uh, lesson uh, for my YouTube channel, uh, I'm Keshara Vikram Singh and I'm a, a professional aircraft technician. All right. So uh, now let's go to the uh, lesson. All right. So uh, today, uh, 88 chapter 24, electrical system, general lesson number one. So today we are going to learn about system general introduction and electrical system location. All right. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so the objective of this module is to highlight the supplied forces of the AC and DC electrical systems and the location of the electrical system. All right. Okay, so the first one, uh, system general introduction. All right, so you can see this is the AC electrical system. Okay, you can see this AC electrical system. See, the AC electrical system can be supplied by the two engine generators, the APU generator or external power source. Okay, you can see this is the AC electrical system. So uh, the AC electrical system supplied by the two engines or APU uh, generator or external power source. All right. So now the DC electrical system. Okay, so this is the DC electrical system. The DC electrical system is supplied from the AC electrical system. Okay, so the AC electrical system supplied by the engines, APU power, external power, and the DC electrical system sub, uh, will be supplied by the batteries and AC electrical system or from the batteries as the backup source. Okay, sorry, uh, the DC electrical system is supplied from the AC electrical system or from the backup uh, for from the batteries as a backup source. So you remember batteries used as a backup source. Okay, it's normally supplied from the AC electrical system. And now the emergency uh, generator. So this is the emergency generator. An emergency generator driven by the blue hydraulic system pressurized by the Ramya turbine emergency configuration can supply part of the AC and DC electrical system in case of loss of normal supply. Okay, I will read again an emergency generator driven by the blue hydraulic system. This is driven by the blue hydraulic system pressurized by the Ramya turbine emergency configuration can supply part of the AC and DC electrical systems in case of loss of normal supply okay just remember all right so now let's go to the electrical system location okay so this is the uh, aircraft and uh, you can see this is the two engines right this is the avionics bay right okay uh, this is the uh, ac normal generation right so there are two engine driven integrated drive generators idg right idg means integrated drive generators uh, for the uh, for the aircraft there are two integrated drive generators okay you can see this is the place uh, integrated drive generator is situated this is the v2500 engine okay so the idg comprise two parts okay idg is comprised two parts the drive or constant speed drive and the generator okay so in uh, later modules i will uh, teach you in detail about the uh, the process and uh, how it works uh, the idg okay so each idg is installed on the associated accessory gear box okay idg is installed to the associated accessory gear box okay Okay, so when I do uh, regarding the engine lesson, so I will teach you uh, in detail about the IDC. All right. So uh, the next one, uh, see the AC auxiliary power unit APU generator is located in the APU compartment, right? So this is the APU generator and this is uh, located in the APU compartment. Okay, right. So this is the APU generator. Right. And the next one here, the electrical power receptacle is fitted forward of the nose landing gear. So this is the external power. Right. Uh, so. <coughs> sorry. 
uh, so the external power so electrical external electrical power receptacle is fit, uh, fitted forward of the nose landing gear okay so uh, this is the place external power receptacle is situated okay all right so the next one ac emergency generation ac emergency generation so uh, okay right so this is the place uh, constant speed motor generator is situated right so the ac emergency generation consists of constant speed motor and ac generator which form an assembly called constant speed motor generator so this is called constant speed motor and this is combined of constant speed motor and plus ac generator okay so the constant speed motor generator is located in the main landing gear bay so this is located inside the main landing gear bay okay you can see the live view you can see this is the main landing gear bay and constant speed motor generator is this okay all right the next one static inverter static inverter this is the avionic compartment so the static inverter is located in the right lateral avionics compartment okay so static inverter is located here right so this is the axis and static inverter is there right you can see this is the static inverter uh, actual v right okay and next one batteries uh, the the two batteries bat one and bat two are located in the right lateral avionics compartment batteries also located in the right av lateral avionic compartment right this is the battery okay uh, okay next one the transformer rectifiers tr1 and tr2 so the two main transformer rectifiers tr1 and tr2 are located in the right lateral avionic compartment it is also located in the right lateral avionic compartment this is the tr1 and this is the tr2 okay this is the right avionic compartment and this is the actual view tr2 and tr1 okay and then the essential transform rectifiers is located in the left lateral avionic compartment so this is the left lateral avionic compartment essential transformer rectifier is located over there okay essential transformer rectifier all right uh that is the end of this lesson uh, thank you for participating in this lesson and next lesson uh you will going to learn the system uh, diagram description under electrical system general okay so uh, maybe the next this lesson will become the next week or after next week uh again thank you for participating in this lesson and uh, if you still not subscribe for this channel please subscribe and please share this video if you uh, think it's valuable for you and uh, also uh hit a like button if you like this uh, video and also if you have any questions regarding the electrical system or any other system just uh, comment below then i will try to answer for this one as soon as possible and also if you have any suggestions uh, just uh, comment below then i will consider about these things all right so thank you very much again so we will meet you on next week have a good day for all of you